Uh, yes, good morning YouTube. Uh, first sunny day we've had in a, about a week or so. And one thing I noticed, my trimetric uh, battery monitor is flashing CHE. And what that means is that it's reached the time to that I should equalize my battery bank. And I had programmed the uh, monitor to uh, remind me every 30 days. So what I need to do, first I have to reset that. So apparently to reset, I have to go to hold the select button down until I get to the showing me amp hours since full, days since charged, days since equalized, and you can see the 30. Hold it down. There we go. Days since equalized is now back to zero. And then I've got my charging going. But now what I need to do is actually equalize the batteries. So let's swing up here to the uh, charge okay, so controller. Here we're the charge controller, and I've got the uh, it's the EP Solar uh, 40 amp uh, Tracer MPPT charge controller. But this probably applies to all the EP Solar uh, controllers. They don't have an equalized setting or a manual equalized setting, I should say. So you can see right now we're pulling in 14.1 volts, 26 amps going to the batteries. I've got about 7 amps of DC load. And there's my battery bank of about 220 amp hours. Temperature, uh, state of charge, it's saying it's pretty much full. And here's where I have the battery type. And with the EP Solar, you have, if you hit the set button, they support gel cell, flooded lead acid, and sealed lead acid. Now I technically have sealed lead acid, which are the AGM batteries, but I find that the this controller, if it's flooded or sealed lead acid batteries, it doesn't equalize every day. Gel cell doesn't do equalize ever. So what I do is I leave I leave my battery type on gel cell for 29 days, and then I go to sealed lead acid for the 30th day. So now if I set that, the charge controller will go through sometime today. You can see now it's jumped up to 14.2 uh, volts. It's, it's trying to jump the, uh, the voltage, battery bank voltage up to, I think it's 14.2 or 14.3. So over the course of today it'll do probably a couple of equalized cycles as the sun comes and goes and the loads go on and off you can see it's it's bumped up the charging current so and then after today i'll go back and set it back to gel cell um, there seems to be some debate with equalization on AGM type batteries. Some people say you need to do it, some say you don't need to do it. So I kind of settled on do it once a month. The idea with equalizing is that, uh, maybe show you the battery. So the idea here. with equalizing is that you are um, overcharging the batteries slightly in order to stir up the electrolyte and eliminate any stratification and uh, you know that's the whole idea of equalize is get all six cells in the battery equal voltage and kind of churn things up a little bit 
but with an AGM battery, there's no liquid electrolyte to churn up. So equalizing every day is probably just overstressing the battery. I figure doing it maybe once every 30 days will equalize the six cells that are inside each battery. I've got all 12 volt batteries all wired in parallel. So there are the six two volt cells in series in each battery that uh, can get equalized charged by slightly overcharging a little bit but I don't think you need to do that every day so that way I can kind of use the uh, trimetric to remind me this way I can use uh, the trimetric to remind me every 30 days to equalize and then since this doesn't have a manual equalize button, I just do the change the battery type. What I've found is the flooded lead acid has one set of parameters for charging voltage, uh, the different voltages. The sealed and gel have different parameters than flooded, but sealed and gel are the same and then the only difference is sealed equalizes and flood uh, gel doesn't equalize so we'll let it uh, go through an equalize cycle today and then tomorrow I'll just remember to set this back to uh, gel and then I should be good for another 30 days until the uh, trimetric tells me to equalize again. So if you have a uh, one of these EP Solar charge controllers, you could, number one, just set up a calendar reminder if you use an online calendar or just pick, uh, you know, the first of every month or uh, some, some repetitive date and, and change your, your battery setting to do an equalize and if you have the trimetric uh, you can use that to uh, do the same function it reminds you automatically so hopefully you found that interesting helpful if you did give it a thumbs up share the video with your friends uh, be sure to check out some of my other videos don't forget to subscribe to get the latest updates and as always thanks for watching